The story, characters, and events in this game are entirely fictional. Didn't know that. <laughs> The story is dedicated to all those cyberpunks who fight against injustice and corruption every day of their lives. June 6, 1996. A mysterious explosion destroys the Chernotin research facility near Moscow. Lucifer Alpha, a powerful biological weapon under secret development there, is released into the atmosphere, creating a deadly biohazard. Carried by the trade winds, Lucifer Alpha spreads throughout Eastern Europe and Eurasia, destroying 80% of the populace. Half of the world's people die. The greatest biohazard in history later becomes known simply as the catastrophe. But at this time, who could have possibly imagined that the ultimate biohazard wouldn't occur for another half century? 50 years later, Mankind faces its greatest crisis, the appearance of a mysterious android life form. Yeah! Its purpose and origin are unknown. Is it a new form of weapon? Or perhaps an invasion from some <laughs> other world? They appear during winter killing humans and infiltrating society by taking the place of their victims. Employing an artificial skin, they can sweat and even bleed. Dear God! Part organic, part machine. They're almost impossible to distinguish from those they kill. Terminator! <laughs> it's just Terminator, bro! <laughs> As they steal their victims' bodies in order to take their place, these mysterious invaders become known as... Snatchers. Oh, this is badass, dude. Look at that. That's a Terminator! Come on, that's a Terminator! Hideo Kojima, what were you doing? <laughs> oh, this is great, though. Ah, oh, thanks, Stephanie. Yeah, it is clean. Can you really see? Ooh! Oh, that's so awesome. Look at that, man. This is so great. This is what Sega CD was great at. God, I love Sega CD sometimes. This is one of those times, bro. Hmm. They should have done more of this on Sega CD. Oh, this track slaps, bro! Woo! <laughs> this, is, this is rules! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Shit, that's so cool. Hey, Crumb, how you doing, dude? Jam it out, bro. Mmm. <laughs> 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 
so good, dude. <laughs> How was work? Everything okay? Mm. Gillian, what is it? What's wrong? Jamie, I've become a junker. A junker? Gillian, but why? Jamie, you know why. It's the only way we can regain our lost memories. Snatcher is the only word that keeps coming back every time we try to remember our past. I have to face them to find out why. Yes, but I can sense that there is something terrible hidden in our past. And if we remember it, it will destroy us. Jamie! I'm going now. Jamie! What? I can't hear you! Estimated age, 31. Three years ago, he and his wife, Jamie Seed, are taken into protective custody in the Siberian neutral zone by the 17th Siberian Investigative Force. Both Gillian and Jamie suffer from severe amnesia, their memories of events prior to being picked up in Siberia, lost in a mysterious mental fog. Two years ago, after a vain attempt to rebuild their marriage, Jamie and Gillian separate. Following extensive special military training, Gillian is ordered to report to Neo Kobe City as a junker, effective today. Yeah! Oh my god, that ruled. <laughs> Krom, it's good to see you, bro. How you doing, dude? Definitely the audio is perfect. This is the best sounding game you've ever played. Oh, I know. You know what I did is I cranked the volume on the game up quite a bit. Because I noticed... I noticed that the games we've been playing have been sounding a little bit low, so I cranked things up, and I hope that I haven't fucked up the levels too hard, man. Just finishing up work? Yeah, okay, crumb. Is finishing up work? Well, I hope work has been too hard on you today, dude. The power went out on me a little earlier. That made me a little bit nervous, but it seems like things have stabilized now. We're finally getting into Snatcher, and it feels great. By the way, guys, if the levels sound all jacked up between my voice and the game, let me know, and I'll turn the volume down a little bit. But if all sounds well, then we'll just leave it right where it is. Oh, crumb. This game slaps. This game is so good. I played it like a decade ago. Literally top 10 gaming experiences I've ever had, man. And this is like the only English version of it there is on the Sega CD for some reason. I don't know why, but hey, I'll take it. You gonna load? Is it going to load? I hope it's going to load. What I do with every Sega game. It might be stuck here for so I'm gonna I thought it was having trouble loading for a second okay here's what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna restart I'm gonna reset it and we're gonna go back in we're just gonna skip past that uh, intro cutscene because maybe maybe this old hardware is kind of having a little bit of a hiccup right now Oh, believe me, I, I thought just of that, Will. That's the first thing I thought of.
Game sounds great, looks great though. These component cables and this upscaler that I'm using, oh my god, things look so good right now. Will, it's good to see you. By the way, I'm sorry dude, I had to nerf bottoms up again. Will, you know what that gallon of water you made me drink yesterday did to me? Dude, I, had, I was on the toilet for like every 10 minutes all through the night. <laughs> It got, it, it got so bad. It got so bad that I had diarrhea, man. <laughs> the water was just trying to get out of me every way it could. Jesus Christ. I'm not even kidding around, dude. It was too much. Yeah, we're going to skip past this shit. There it goes. Hey. Bonami, Ami Building. Junker Headquarters. Up you go, Gillian. Act One. Snatch. Creative title. All right, here we are, guys. Welcome to Junker Headquarters. May I help you? Bill. So, these are our options in the game. It's not exactly a point-and-click adventure game. What we have to do is navigate these menus in order to play. For instance, we observe. It's no use. She's protected by a shield. Looks like a government ad. They must be really short on people. They're trying to recruit more people for this junker operation because all these junkers keep dying on the job, I bet. Well, that's what happens when you deal with Terminators. I mean, I'm hyped when Krom's in the chat. Krom's awesome, bro. I hope Chainsaw's here too. I'm hyped when all you guys show up. I hope everyone's having a great time right now, bro. Like, if you guys are excited, for Sega CD, I'm excited too, man. I know that Stephanie's pretty hyped right now. Like, she thinks that this is the best sounding game we've ever played, and I can't disagree with her, because this sounds awesome. The shield is heatproof and shockproof. It's specially designed to withstand an attack by Snatchers. Ooh. Imagine Terminators trying to get through for a little protective shell there. Ooh, how scary that would be. This is some pretty heavy-duty stuff they got here. This place may be more dangerous than I thought. You don't say, Mr. Terminator Hunter! Blade Runner over here hunting Terminators? Of course it's scary! They're not replicants, they're literally Terminators! <laughs> Steph is here. This is Snatcher on the Sega CD, Will. It's... It's a really, really expensive game now, and I just happen to have a copy because I scored it in a lot, like... Years and years ago, back when nobody really wanted Sega CD stuff. Camera. It looks like they're monitoring the offices. No, you don't say. Door. It's locked. It looks like the only switch for it is in the operator's pod. Or else observe the area. There's nobody around but the operator. Wow, she's all alone out here. Look. Oh, we can look at everything. She's a beautiful woman. Okay. It's just a junker recruiting ad. It's propaganda. What organization are you with, sir? Mika asks. It's one of those pod-type reception units where the operator sits in a shielded capsule. Stephanie is a masterpiece. Oh, I agree! If ever there was a work of art, it's Stephanie in the chat. The way she clips my misery is just... Hmm, art. Truly, she is a master of finding my most embarrassing moments. Also, adding insult to injury, another one of her talents. Soon as Will fills me up with water, what does Stephanie do? 
Just a sip. Ah. <laughs> Masterpieces all. <laughs> By the way, thanks for the uh, copious bathroom breaks yesterday, Will. God damn it. Jesus Christ. I had to nerf bottoms up, man. That was too much. It was too much. I physically couldn't drink all your bottoms up redeems. <laughs> it looks like a security camera. Door. It looks like it leads in the inside of the headquarters. And then we look at this again. What else is in the area? This seems to be Junker Headquarters Lobby. Their security looks really tight. What organization are you with, sir? So, what you have to do on each of these screens is a lot like a point-and-click adventure game. You have to go through your menu and go through all the options and investigate stuff and look at stuff and see which one progresses the story because one option will eventually do it. And in the meantime, Gillian will feed you all kinds of information that you know give you insight to what's happening. So right now we're going to try enter and see what happens because it's our only option left. I'm afraid only Junker personnel are allowed inside headquarters. So now look at this, we have an option to talk to her. Oh well, let's try talking to that young woman over there. I'm Gillian Seed. I've been assigned to Junker headquarters effective today. Oh, you're Mr. Seed. Please forgive me. My name is Mika Slayton. I'm the administrative assistant and operator here at Junker headquarters. Very pleased to meet you. Well, now look at us. Now we can talk to Mika. Sus. Why is it sus, Will? What did Snatcher ever do to you besides be an awesome game? I think you just call it sus because you don't know how to handle things that are so good. So you just gotta troll me. Or wait, is the bottoms up sus? I know, it's very sus because I have to keep changing my rewards because people keep abusing them. Like when I had the Pringles redeems and people just SPAM PRINGLES! <laughs> I remember one time you guys spammed so many Pringles I had to eat an entire can. That was too much. The day that I nerfed the Pringles Redeem was the day that the fun died. Lo siento. Ooh, look at Mika. You're really very pretty. Thank you. Yeah, that's the no way to open there, Gillian. Woo! I love how forward he is. The official Junker name and trademark appear on the plate. From Pod. It's designed to protect the operator. I know it seems a bit much, but it's supposed to protect from Snatchers. What? Snatchers can even attack up here? Yes, it's happened several times before. They're not stupid, you know. That's kind of frightening. She's awfully uh, casual about this. Like, ah, it's pretty normal. Just another day at the office. Ah, yeah. I'm just going to go home and relax later. No, nothing weird here. Maybe I should try waving high at the camera. The chief always monitors the feed from that camera. <laughs> Even more of a reason to wave high. What's in the area? Looks like an entrance to a vault. Are there mun muns within? Well, how do you like it? I bet you like to see the office, right? Uh, maybe. I kind of want to explore a little bit more, Mika. Here, let's investigate Mika. It's too bad I can't get in there. She's truly gorgeous. Jesus Christ, Gillian. <laughs> oh, my God. She hasn't even said yes yet, Gillian. Japanese Undercover Neurokinetic Elimination Ranger. Wait, what the hell is that? The plate? Oh. Not even a tank could break through the pod. What a sturdy pod. No wonder she's so confident. If I wander around too much, I'll make a bad first impression. Well, you have been investigating a lot of stuff so far, so maybe it looks like you're very dutiful. Gillian says, I must look really uptight. Maybe I'd better stop wandering around. He's dropping some hints here. He wants us to stop investigating, and I refuse to steadfastly. 
I've been designed, or excuse me, I've been assigned to Junker Operations Effective today. You just told me that, Gillian. Let's talk to her again. I have a pretty good memory, Mr. Seed. Especially if it's concerning an attractive man like you. Oh, well, wink, wink, nudge, nudge there, Mika. All right. Maybe we might get someplace here. Maybe we can get into that pod after all. Ahem. All right, let's ask about all this shit. It seems important. Could you tell me a little about Junker Operations? The Junkers are a special task force put together to combat the Bioroid Snatcher Menace. Oh, that sounds intriguing. That is something, that's a key word right there. It's in pink. It's overseen by government intelligence agencies. Okay, well, let's ask about. This is my first time in town. Oh, you'll get used to it right away. Everybody's pretty welcome. There are many different ethnic groups and types of people here. It's Japan, but it's not Japan, if you know what I mean. Ooh, now we're getting spicy. Tell me a little bit about yourself, Mika. About me? Isn't that a little bit forward, Mr. Seed? Why, yes, it is. Let me tell you about myself first. Maybe you'll tell me. I can tell you're very smooth with the ladies. Oh, Will, you want just a sip? I can do it. Yeah, he's just giving... That's, that's not a bladder punch, Will. That's just a bladder jab. That's barely a love tap. Here. This is for you, Will. Mmm. Ah, that was tasty, Will. Thank you. I needed that. I know it was a bladder tickle. It was. It barely phased me. <laughs> I'm tempting fate right now, aren't I? Give me some soaking in the evening. <laughs> I like how you add the umlaut to everything. Why don't you just add the umlaut to my name already? Be done with it, Will. There. Can we ask her about uh, herself again? I'd really like to know more. How about next time if we have the chance? Oh. Here, what if I ask her again? I don't really care for overly persistent types. Oh. Oh, okay. She's oh, she, okay. She's not interested anymore. We pushed our luck too hard, fam. We flew too close to the sun. Now we burned all chances with Mika. But uh, hmm. I like when you post naughty Swedish chat. <laughs> Could you give me a few more details about the Junkers? A Junker's principal duty is to identify Snatchers who have infiltrated society and eliminate them. Anything else? Could you give me a few more details? That about covers it. If you have other questions, would you mind asking the Chief? She's getting frustrated with me that I'm not entering the office. From the air, it's hard to believe that Neokobi is a man-made island. Well, it's pretty big. They practically filled in the whole inland sea. All right, let's go ahead and enter, guys. Mr. Seed? Gillian's fine, and you can call me Gillian, Mika. Okay, Gillian. I'll open the main door and show you around headquarters. This is just my job simulator. <laughs> is this what your work is really like, Will? <laughs> Where shall I show you first? Ooh. Let's go to the Chief's office. Chief Cunningham, Gillian Seed is here. I brought him in as you requested. Thanks for coming, Seed. I'm Benson Cunningham, the Chief of Junker Operations. Gillian Seed, I've been transferred here from the 17th Special Forces Division. I've heard all about your special training in the military, Seed. I hope you'll put it to good use on your new assignment here. By the way, I understand you're suffering from amnesia. Any sign yet that your memory's coming back? 
I'm afraid not. I still can't remember a thing from before the army picked me up three years ago. Oof. You're married, aren't you? Yes, but we're separated now. She has amnesia as well, and without any memories between the two of us, I'm afraid there was very little to base a good relationship on. I can see your point there. Oh, I know, Stephanie. The voice acting is unusually good for 1994. Usually voice acting in the 90s was kind of dog shit, man. But Konami seems like they went above and beyond to make this, you know, good. They actually did that in a couple of games, where they hire professional voice actors to do the parts. Like Cam Clark appeared in Rise of the Dragon, and he's a professional voice actor. Sir Ian McKellen. Sir Ian McKell was too busy doing Shakespeare to bother appearing in Snatcher, alas. I wish Sir Ian McKellen showed up in this, baby. Ooh, let's look around. So he's the chief of Junker Operations, eh? Just as I imagined him. A fat slob wasting away at his desk, bro. Eh. Did you say something? Oh, <laughs> Killian's talking out loud. Killian, you gotta keep your inner monologue to yourself. That's why it's called an inner monologue, bro. What are you staring at, Seed? Why don't you just calm down? You're freaking the chief out, bro. Information from all over the world is continuously pouring in. Okay. Sometimes when you look at things more than once, you get a different answer. That's why I click on it more than once a lot of the time. It's a nice night view of Neo Kobe. Too bad there are snatchers lurking out there somewhere. Neo Kobe at night. Great view, don't you think? Ah, nothing else there. Hey, what do you say? Chief, you're awfully restless, Seed. What's the problem? <laughs> why are you... Why are they punishing my exploration? Stop being mean to me. I am a curious animal. I can't help it. I enjoy seeing all the different responses. A picture of a vase, eh? What a funny design. What happens if we click on it twice? Nah, we don't see anything else. Looks like a pretty comfortable sofa. I, why are we looking at that? Why are we investigating that? I agree, it's, a, it's, it's quite a sofa. Oh, let's investigate the sofa! What, can we find Mud Muns? It's an air cushion type sofa. Look under it, Gillian! It's the latest in robots, ro robot sofas. Oh no, the Snatchers have taken another form, man. Employing cha chaos system, what the fuck is that? You need to explain your tech. I don't like sitting on weird sofas. All you need to do on a sofa is sit. You don't need technology in a sofa, bro. The most complicated a sofa should get is a fold out bed. Okay, now I'm all curious. It's an air cushion type sofa. Oh, it's one of those. Oh, God. You just know when you sit on the thing, it's gonna pop. Hmm, so this is his taste in art, huh? Oh, Gillian saying the chief needs to get taste, bro. Don't touch that picture. It's very special to me. Here, touch the picture. Stop it, see? That picture's precious to me. Don't touch it. Is it really valuable? There are some things that money can't buy. Now that you mention it, when did you hang that picture there? I always thought this office needed a little livening up. I never knew you were interested in art. Well, you know. Here, let's try it again. Ah, oh, okay, nothing more. It's a general purpose monitor using both liquid crystal display, LCD, and plasma display, PDD technology. Seed, I'm no snatcher. Investigate him again! That sounds like something a snatcher would say, bro. Investigate! Don't you trust anybody? I'm the chief, Seed. Well, I suppose that's what being a junker's all about. See, he gets it. Investigate him again. Stop it right now, Seed! <laughs> Investigate! 
Ah! He's gonna get away with it. Alright, let's, let's ask him some serious questions, guys. Junker Headquarters was set up a year ago by the police as a special task force to combat the Snatcher problem. Junker operations were officially started in August of this year. We answer directly to the government's intelligence agencies. This poster is really tacky. Oh really? That's my design, by the way. Oof. Chief, the taste is right out of the Dark Ages. A Junker operates with certain rules and privileges different from regular police officers. Those are, one, the purpose of the Junker Force is to eliminate bioroid snatchers. Two, a Junker, even in the course of carrying out one, must not harm innocent civilians. Three, a subject may not be physically investigated or restrained unless irrefutable evidence exists that indicates the subject is indeed a snatcher. I know there's a lot of junk around here, Will. <laughs> wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. Four, a junker is required to assist and support civilian bounty hunters. Oh, really? That's weird, but fine. Five, in order to carry out one, a junker is allowed to the use of a blaster and a navigator and a turbo cycle. Oh yeah! I knew there was gonna be some action in this game, bro. Those are the five rules. I don't need rules. All I need is a blaster in my car and we're good to go. Oh my god, there's a lot of different dialogue options here, man. Look at all that junk. Junk, 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 junk. Chief is obsessed with junk. A Junker's job is to figure out who the Snatchers are and to eliminate them. So it's Blade Runner. This is just Blade Runner. It's Blade Runner but Terminators instead of Replicants. I want you to put your special training in the military to good use and investigate those points about Snatchers that we don't yet understand. We've got to put a stop to them. A Junker's job is highly specialized and extremely dangerous. That's why there are so few of us. I'm the Chief. There is the Engineer, and then there's Mika. Gibson and you are our runners. It's just the five of us. Only five? There's only one other Snatcher? Oh my god, no one wants to be a Snatcher, bro. That's why they got the poster outside. All the other Snatchers are dead or... All the civilians don't want to even bother. Yes, three years ago the Snatchers suddenly appeared here in Neo Kobe. We have no idea where they come from or what they want. We do know that they kill, copy, the appearance of their victims and take their place in society. And that the numbers are increasing. So think about that, that these Terminators are just killing and replacing citizens and going about their lives apparently, so I guess the real question here is, are the Snatchers becoming productive members of society? Are they paying taxes? Because if they're paying taxes, I don't know man. Well, if you think that, do you think that if the Snatchers are paying taxes that they should be left to their devices? I have a funny feeling that if this took place in Sweden, the only way that the Snatchers would even be affected is if they stopped paying taxes entirely. Like you like to say, Will. <laughs> That should be enough to make your duties as a Junker quite clear. This is your Junker ID card. It will identify you as a Junker. Carrying it allows you to exercise your special authority. I yeah. see. Sort of like a police officer's badge, huh? Yeah. And uh, here's some money. It's not much, but you'll oh, need mom! it to carry out your investigation. Cash? Mm. Credit cards aren't accepted in some regions of the city. You'll need this sooner or later. Sounds yeah. like it's a rough place out there. Go see Harry, the engineer. He's got your equipment ready for you. Mon Muns, baby. Oh, we got Mon Muns already. Oh, I wonder he's been asking about it. 
They should tax for the greater socialism. Ah, well. You know, Terminators would be a communist menace. You just know that the Terminators are replacing the politicians first and then raising taxes on all the humans. That's the that's the long con right there. If the Terminators were smart, they would do that and collect all the Mun Muns. Here, can we ask something else of him? Let's ask about the Navigators. It's a robot designed to assist Junkos by performing all types of analysis. It's got a pretty good sensor set up, too. Can't wait to meet him. This card gives me all the special rights of a Junker. I'll be carrying this as my ID from here on out. See, that card is very important. Take great care not to lose it. Oh, I won't. I'm gonna be sure to flash it all over town, though. Believe you me. This is the cash they gave me for expenses. Having to carry cash around is so inconvenient. Show us the Mun Mun! Ah! Oh. Prom says at least there are no damn bats. Medusa heads are disappearing stairs in this one. True, true, true. This is going to be a very laid-back uh, game, Krom. Fortunately, Soul Keeper will not be getting mad playing this. This is going to be very, very nice and easy. Ah, it's a, it's a nice respite from hard as balls Nintendo games. Of course, as soon as we're doing a snatch here, we're just going to leap right back into the pool of hard ass games, man. I mean, <laughs> oh yeah, I, I, I do crom. <laughs> oh, believe me. Man. I've been playing Super Nintendo games four nights a week for the past few weeks. And I've beaten probably six or seven Super Nintendo games now, and they've all been platformers. Will he, yeah, he needs something to drain his sanity. Yeah, okay. I'll just stare in the eyes of Cthulhu. Hard mode on every game. Dude, I gotta stop playing games on hard mode. All I do is get mad. <laughs> <laughs> Who am I kidding? I'm never gonna stop playing games on hard mode. I just want the bragging rights. Oh, you played the game on normal? Oh, well, maybe you should sack up and go play the game on hard, buddy boy. See, that's why I play the game on hard, just so I can say that to people and humble brag. Oh, I, I'll, I, don't worry. You'll be fine. Oh, me? Yeah, I beat the game on hard. Yeah, it's no big deal. I did it. It was easy. Mickey's Magical Quest? Beat it on hard. Yeah. Yeah, you can do it. Fine. Once you learn the game, you no big deal. Castlevania 4, psh, Dracula's a pushover on hard. <laughs> I mean, if you know the secret, quote unquote, the secret. Hamburger. <laughs> Thanks, Will. I appreciate the biddies, bro. <laughs> So, um, let me ask you guys, do, does the game sound too loud? I'm just curious, because I'm trying to make sure everything is balanced. I hope everything is balanced. If it's not balanced, I might turn the desktop audio up a little bit. Everything sounds great? Okay. If everything sounds great, we'll keep it the way it is. Because I don't want to monkey around with the audio too much. Your ears? I'm sorry, Will. I'm trying to make the experience nice for everyone. I want the sound alerts to come through very clearly. I want, I want the game to not sound too quiet. It's a delicate balancing act. It's a very delicate ecosystem that I have to figure out. I don't want to get drowned out by the game. It's, it's hard making sure that everything sounds right. Yeah, investigate the Mun Mun. You piece of shit! You fucking goddamn fucker! Listen, fuckhead! You have fucking crossed the line! 
<laughs> Thank you, Will. <laughs> Alex Jones, our Lord and Savior, telling truth bombs and dropping them on us every day, fam. Look at that. I like how I like how that sound alert played. Just as Gillian said, "Cold hard cash." There should be plenty to get the job done with. I do love cold hard cash, bro. It's an ID card with a special IC chip built in. My voice sounds balanced with the game. Good. What I might do... My voice is silky smooth. Oh, I agree. I wouldn't have it any other way, man. Okay, I'm I'm gonna boost. I'm try. I'm I'm gonna see. I'm going to try boosting blurp and uh, sound alerts up by a few decibels and see how that sounds. Show. Show the cash! Oh wait, he's not going to do anything more with the cash? Get the cash? Fine, let's get out of here. Uh, objection, hearsay. Ah, thanks, Will. <laughs> It was so good! Thanks for the videos, Will. I appreciate it, man. Where would you like to go next? Objection here, say objection to what? Objection to me leaving the Chief's office? We showed him the cold hard cash! Only I could get more mun mun out of the Chief. That'd be a worthy endeavor. But right now we gotta explore all this other shit. This is engineering. All the junkers that it, all the junkers that is the runner's equipment is made here. Hmm. Doesn't look like Harry's around at the moment. Mika's face. Oh my god, we can look at Mika. <laughs> that sentence, what about the sentence, Will? You truly are beautiful, Mika. Oh my god, Gillian. You're you're on the clock, dude. Yeah, look at that picture in the background. It looks like someone's having an orgasm, man. <laughs> is, that, is that a rock and roll poster or is that just porn? <laughs> Thanks, Gillian. I'll take that at face value. But God, Mika's not really playing along with this. Come on, Mika. There are tools machines all over the place. It's a regular factory in here. This room always looks like this. I don't know how he finds anything. He's an artist. That's how he does things. This young Bob Ross. Ooh. Before he had his beard. Well, someone should give him some biotin. And get him on the hirsute. Facial appendage train. Harry Benson's our engineer. He's a bit of a lush, but he's a friendly and sweet old guy. Oh, I love how the guy who's inventing all the equipment is just a fucking drunk and everyone knows it. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, surely there will be no repercussions for that. He's quite brilliant. He's won three Nobel Prizes and the Fields Prize too. Three Nobel Prizes? Holy shit! What for? Explain. Man, making weapons. Oh, by the way, he won a bunch of Nobel Prizes. I love how they just casually slipped that in there. Every Junker investigator gets an analysis robot. Quite a combination, eh? We call the robots Navigators. Gene's Navigator is called Little John. I wonder what kind of Navigator you'll get. One that will almost assuredly annoy the crap out of me. Oh, yeah. 
be good. His wife was killed by a snatcher two years ago. After that, he quit his detective job and became a junker. Since then, he's been living with his daughter Katrina. Oh, Gibson is my partner. If you meet him, you'll understand why he's so good. Oh, I'm sure we'll meet him very shortly. Prepare yourselves. He's Gene's only child. He turned 18 this year. Okay. Here, let's flash some cash at her. Show her the cash. Like that? From the look of your diet, it's obvious you're not too interested in counting calories. Hey, Fran, how you doing? That's your expense money, so you can use it while you're on investigation. She was not impressed by my cash. Here, let's show her the ID. That's your junker ID. Be careful not to lose it. Ah, she is not impressed at all by anything I'm doing. Cold hard cash. Oh yeah. I'm glad you're here with us to experience Snatcher, Fran. Right now we're just exploring Snatcher headquarters before we go into the game itself. This is the detective's room. It's the office for our runners. That's what we call junker investigators like you. Runners. Runners. I, I don't think they could any more blatantly take from Blade Runner than they have by just calling them runners. <laughs> Brad is here! Fran? Are you actually there? I don't think Fran is actually here. She said hi earlier. But she's probably walking her dog at the moment. Actually, it might be a storm out, so I'm not sure that she is. Yeah, the fun police is about to shut us down, bro. That's what Fran does all day or day. <laughs> this is the detective's room. It's the office for our junkers, our, our runners. So we call junker investigators like you. You'll be using that desk in the back. Oh, fun. What about this desk near the door here? Oh, that belongs to Gibson. That's Gene's desk, Gene Jack Gibson. He's our ace runner. Uh-oh. Of course, he gets the primo desk. Mika's face. Why do we get to keep looking at Mika's face? Mika? Yes, what did you want? I can sense that you and I are destined to fall in love. It might sound crazy, but... Oh, boy. Gillian, you're married, aren't you? I'm separated. <laughs> Stephanie. <laughs> Mika, you're definitely laying it on too thick, don't you think? Oh, yes, he kind of is. I mean, that was that was not a very alpha move there, Gillian. Holy shit. <laughs> you got to you got to be judicious about laying on lines like that, man. You can't bust out lines like that all the time and have a girl not roll her eyes. A lot of information flows into here. All the information available to our runners is output from Jordan. Jordan? Who's Jordan? Your desk. This is an antique desk. He's really into antiques. What's so antique about it? The fact it doesn't have a computer built in? Our desk. Looks like a nice desk, but I probably won't be using it much. Area. This place is really different from other detectives' offices. Harry's an orphan. He lost his parents in the catastrophe. The catastrophe? What catastrophe? If you're that interested, why don't you just meet him? Well, we tried to. He wasn't in his engineering room, dude. Don't worry. You'll be able to get one from Harry. Okay, we'll get our little robot in a little bit here. He's apparently on an investigation at the moment. I'll introduce you as soon as he gets back. He's a model. She's quite cute. And we're gonna hit on Katrina too. Oh yeah! Alright, we don't need to investigate any of our possessions, so let's just exit. Where would I like to go next? Well, let's take a look at the computer room. Oh, that's, oh wow, this is fancy. 
Bell's equipment. God, I am overwhelmed by all this technology. All these flashing lights. It's linked to databases throughout the country, so you can find almost any information you might need. God, this is a lot to take in. Mika, this Gillian's a little weird. God, she does not like Gillian. <laughs> Antiques in the computer room, huh? I haven't seen a keyboard in some time. Well, what the hell do you use? If you don't use a keyboard, how do you operate the computer? It can't all be mouses and clicks. I mean, there's still buttons in there. Do you mind meld with a computer or something? A number of input and output devices are linked to the host computer. Stephanie said it and not well. It's true. This is weird. Stephanie is, has mastered the art of trolling, it seems like, and taken after Will in a big way. Will, look at your influence. Look what you have wrought. Are you proud of yourself, Will? Now that Stephanie's becoming a troll just like you? Dear sweet Jesus, this is my this is my life. It's smaller than I expected. So this is your host computer, eh? The RM1013 model? Looks like the cockpit of a shuttle in here. I know, right? My god, this place. Oh no. This is our host computer, a model RM1013. We call it Jordan. That's for Junker Online Regional Data Access Network. It employs full-scale artificial intelligence-based processors. Jordan is fully programmed with all human learning routines and uses an intelligent interface to perform automatic translation, problem solving, you name it. It employs expert class artificial intelligence routines developed for fieldwork robots. It's the best there is. Jesus. Oh, 1994, too. Will says he's very proud of his protege. I can see that. Sickos. You guys are all sick. <laughs> it's good. If you don't have an unhinged chat, then... If I... You know what? I... They'll never suspect a thing. <laughs> I would be disappointed if my chat wasn't unhinged, to be honest. If my chat wasn't unhinged, I think I might break in twain. First, put your Junker card in this slot. Once it's confirmed, you as a user... <laughs> Once it's confirmed, you as a user, you just follow the instructions that Jordan flashes on the screen. Okay, so we just have to log in with our keycard. You're going in too hot, and I think you need to cool down. No! <laughs> Will, have you found any other clips from my channel that you want me to throw in as overlays? <laughs> now that we have four of them that are just overlays now. I had a bu I whipped up a bunch of animated overlays, and the most popular ones we have right now are just me acting like a dumbass. <laughs> I may made myself, bruh. Oh, can we use Jordan right now? Mika, don't be getting any funny thoughts. She's only 18, but she's legal! What do you mean, don't get any funny thoughts? She's 18! Oh, God. <laughs> ah, he's only 31 and she's 18, right? Right? I don't know, man. Go ahead, sit down here. Is it legal age in America, 20? Uh, it's 18. Age of consent in America is 18, so if you come here, yeah. It's, it's whatever. 18. 20. <laughs> Where the hell is it 20? Once you're registered on the system, the rest is easy. I am Jordan, Junker Headquarters Host AI Computer System. Please insert your ID card. What? Has the thing got a personality? It doesn't really sound like a Gillian, it just sounds like it's greeting you. 
Use card. Okay, Junker card going in. User confirmed as Gillian Seed. Welcome to Jordan. What sort of information do you need? Well, at least it let me in. Load ID file. Jordan ID file. Use the cursor to input the name of the person you are searching for. Input first name, then last name without a space. For example, John Konami as John Konami. Or you can search with just a first name. For example, John. Uh, I don't have a name to... Well, actually, we could enter Harry. Here, let's enter Harry's name. Oh, wait. No, let's, let's, let's enter Mika. 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 What happens when we do this? Yeah. Mika Slayton. <laughs> Administrative assistant. Junker agency. Age 23. Height 167 centimeters. What the fuck is a centimeter, bro? <laughs> Weight 55 kilogram. What the fuck is a kilogram? <laughs> Blood type. Blood type. A positive. Marital status. Single. Graduated from Kobe City University with dual major in criminal psychology, municipal data management. Worked at Kobe Crime Research Lab before moving to Junker Agency. Handled numerous unusual cases at the lab and solved them by using the dangerous technique of attaining complete simpatico with the criminals. But psychological stress from the job led to her to resign. Recommendation from Junker Chief led to her joining the agency. Oh, well, we actually learned quite a bit there. And now, now we swoop in. Legal age for the sexy. This, it's 15 for the sexy in Sweden? Okay, I didn't know that. That's weird. That, that's interesting. I had no idea, dude. You can drink you can drink beer in Germany if you're 15. You can't drink beer here until you're 21 for some reason. Ah, you can go serve in the military and go off and die, but you can't drink a beer until you're 21. You can smoke if you're 18, though. That's I mean, I don't get that either. For the sexy is 15, you consider full adult at 18, so you can drink al alcohol at bars, but you cannot buy liquor at the store until you're 20. Really? You can drink alcohol at bars, but you can't buy liquor at the store? What's the difference? That's so weird, dude. Load fact file. Please select the category you wish to search. Oh, 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 politics. Oh, that's going to be a dumpster fire. Oh no, I don't know. Should, should we click on politics? Okay, let's, let's, let's do it, guys. Let's go in politics. We're going to politics. Prepare yourselves, everyone. Oh, it's going to get weird. Oh. A lot of topics here. Neocobi quarantine. The government fearing mainland snatcher infiltration from Neocobi designed the city a contaminated or designated the city a contaminated zone and ordered the closure of all land, sea, and air links, excluding the Kobe Bridge. The policy was enhanced enacted on December first, twenty forty seven. While well, the policy appears to have spread or while well, the policy appears to have so far prevented any spread of the problem to the mainland, is exacerbated the isolation of the city itself without contributing to a comprehensive solution to the snatcher menace. Oh wow, this is this is all kinds of stuff we got here. Good lord. So twenty since the twenty twenty five declaration of Neocobi as an immigrant's paradise, vast numbers of foreigners from countries throughout Southeast Asia have moved to the city. Nevertheless, this has increased the asset distribution gap between rich and poor and contributed to the social and ethnic splintering of the populace. The problem is best illustrated by the concentration of relatively wealthy longtime residents in the city's northern zones versus the relatively poor, mainly immigrant population, centered in the city's newly reclaimed southern regions. The trend was spurred by the catastrophe, which created vast waves of new immigrants who developed this underground society, effectively splitting the city into two distinct groups of cultures, that of the north and the south. Jesus, that's a lot of information. Look at all this information. Oh my god. Look at this!
Junker, uh, there's more? Junker agency history. Oh. Man, do we have to read? Do we have to go through all this in order to progress the game? Because I'm not gonna lie, reading through all this kind of slows things down a little bit. Uh, we don't have to go into the fact file quite yet, I don't think. We could probably... We could probably move on at this point, I think. Oh, the shooting range? What's in the shooting range? This is the shooting range Junkers come here to improve their marksmanship. Oh wait, can we practice? Use Jordan, that's what it says, use Jordan. Jordan's the computer, Will, don't get dirty thoughts. Mika, I wonder if he really can't make it as a Junker. Oh, she has her doubts, man. Another man-shaped heart. Man shapes? In the practice booth. We call it our shooting practice range, but it's a lot like a video game arcade, don't you think? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. How to practice? Ooh, tell us more. How do you start practice? Well, you pull out your gun and start shooting, Gillian. Just follow the Junker's Eye Practice System. Oh, yeah, I could totally do that. Here, let's do it. Gillian, you haven't gotten your blaster yet. Let's hurry and go visit Harry. Come on, let's go see Harry. But I think I should get some practice in first. You don't have a gun, you idiot. Yes, but... Come on, let me take a crack at it. Alright, if you must practice, I'll let you use my ray gun, but it doesn't have the power of a blaster. Is that okay? Yeah, thanks, Mika. Ooh, we're gonna use Mika's blaster. Alright, shooting practice, let's do this. If you press the A button, you can draw your blaster. Press C to fire. You can put your blaster away again by pressing the A button. Are you ready? Remember, shoot only snatchers. Be careful you don't hit any civilians. Oh. The red gauge on the left shows the number of targets to appear. The yellow gauge on the right shows the number of hits. I'll start it on introductory level. Good luck! I'll need it. Yeah, let's do this. Okay. Ooh, okay, it's still spirit. I'm getting it. Ah, don't shoot the civilians! No civilians! Ah. Fantastic, a perfect store. You're quite a shot, aren't you, Gillian? Yes, I am. Perfect score right off the bat. That's right. I know how to kill some Terminators. I bet you've done this before, haven't you? Nope. Been like 10 years. I don't remember anything, bro. No, ma'am. First time out. Yeah. I can't stand lying. Come on, why she got to accuse me of lying? It's due to all that practice I had in the military, Mika. See? He's not lying. Fantastic, and no wasted shots either. Gene will be surprised. Yeah, Gene can eat shit. He doesn't have anywhere near as good of aim as I do, man. My aim rules. Let's go see Harry. Okay, we're finally getting someplace. So, we didn't have to read everything in that computer after all, thank God, because that was a lot of info dumping. Now all we need to do is find Harry. So. Harry should be back by now. I don't know. He's quite the freewheeling type. Ah, there he is. There's oh, my boy. Oh, good. Harry's back. Great to meet you. You're uh, Gillian Seed, right? Haven't we met somewhere before? No, huh? I don't believe so. Really? Well, I guess I must be imagining things. Harry, but... <laughs> oh, you had a chicken sub, Stephanie? Oh, that sounds delicious. All I've had to eat today was pancakes, eggs, some cottage cheese, and a glass of milk. I'll probably have like a chicken sandwich on a bagel or something later. I don't know what the hell I'll have for dinner. Just trying to manage my weight as usual, everyone. 
Gotta lose some pounds, man. He, he does have a very nice beard, doesn't he, Will? Looks like it's chiseled out of granite. Beautiful. It's so perfectly groomed. Makes my beard look like shit. You made woke vegetables. You made woke vegetables, Will? Why are you making woke vegetables? <laughs> What's the matter, Will? Haven't you ever heard go woke, go broke? <laughs> you made woke vegetables with chicken. Uh, what's the matter? They preached to you about the merits of going vegan, Will? <laughs> they tell you to stop eating meat, bro? <laughs> you got free lunch today. Oh, you so you stole your lunch is what you're saying. Like, you just walked out of the cafeteria with, with without paying. Which, not gonna lie, it's a pretty boss move. Been there, done that, wink wink. The boss paid us all? Oh, okay. Okay. Well, if your boss bought lunch, okay, that's fine. Here, I was hoping you just walked out of the cafeteria. I could totally just imagine Will stealing his lunch, too. Like he just puts all, I can just imagine Will putting a bunch of shit on his tray and then just blowing past the cash register, not even stopping, just walking right out of the building and people try to say, hey, you've got to pay for that. But everyone being like too meek to stop him. And then he becomes known as the, the lunch bandit over there in Sweden or something. All the cafeteers are reporting losses of many, many tubes of caviar. Or chicken. We had a short conference and he pay always pays our lunches. Okay. God damn it, that's so much less exciting than Will stealing lunch. <laughs> but I'm happy you got free lunch. Hmm. Somehow I get the same impression. Have I met this guy somewhere? What's wrong? Do I have something hanging from my nose? Yes. You should wipe it. There's a poster and a photograph on the wall. I'm sure I've met this guy, I just can't recall. Got bad eyesight there, boy? Ooh, what's this poster? This looks like a poster from the late 20th century. What, you know who she is? You got good taste for a youngster. It's the picture that was on the wall. It's a photograph of a small boy. That's a picture of me as a kid. It's my only memory of my childhood. What accent do you want, Will? Let us know in the chat, bro. Mario voice. Oh no. <laughs> All right, let's investigate the uh, let's investigate the engineering room now, Harry. Those are artwork clothes. Let me take a look at those. Hey, what are you doing? Stop it. <laughs> this is very old. This kind of printing technology hasn't been used since the last century. <laughs> Keep your hands off that, will ya? It's getting pretty fragile. I'm, I'm trying to do Mario. It's hard to do Mario. This appears to have been cut out of a larger photo. <laughs> well, you know what I would like to have for lunch? I would like to have a... a, 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 a well, I suppose I had a breakfast for lunch. I had a little bit of brunch today. Oh no, I had brunch. I've never had the brunch in my life. <laughs> Sounds Swedish. Ah, well, I tried. I'm pasta in the meat bars. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's the kind of accent. This is the kind of accent I wish that Chris Pratt were doing for the Mario movie. Dude, that would be legendary if Chris Pratt did that kind of accent for the Mario movie. Please and thank you, Chris. That would have been so good. No, it would have been awful, but it would have been really, really funny. 
I know, I know. All right, allow me to introduce the Navigator, which I designed especially for you. Hey, Metal Gear, get out here. Metal Gear. Wait for it. Uh-oh. Oh, listen to that. And there he is. That's our navigator. Metal, introduce yourself. Yes, sir. Pleased to meet you, Gillian. I am Metal Gear Mach 2. I am programmed to be your personal assistant. Metal Gear? That's a pretty weird name. Oh, he's cute. Uh, thank you. I think he's turning red. I took his basic design and his name from the Metal Gear Menace of the late 20th century. But uh, quite unlike that Metal Gear, this one was designed for peaceful purposes. The Hideo Kojima Cinematic Universe, everyone. Snatcher is part of the Metal Gear universe. <laughs> Snatcher is canon with Metal Gear Solid, bro. Yeah, well, Snatcher was made by Hideo Kojima, the same guy who made all that Metal Gear shit. So naturally, he just sticks in references wherever he can, because of course he would. Oh, that's right. Uh, don't panic yourself. I got it right over here. This is your blaster, the official weapon of a junker. It's got full user feedback circuitry, adjusting itself to your reaction time. In other words, it's just as good as you are. What do you think? Here, see how she feels. Yeah. It's That's unbelievably piece. light. <laughs> you bet it is. This ain't one of those ray guns the army uses. She's put together with the latest carbon polymers and ceramics, not affected by heat one bit. And her ergonomic design optimizes both functionality and firepower. Well, what do you think, Gillian? I'll take it. Not that you had a choice. Ooh, let's ask about Metal Gear. Navigators are designed from the start as a Junker's investigative assistant. On-site detection, analysis, recording, communications, you name it, they're packed with features. And Metal Gear here is the latest model. What about an attack system? Don't they carry any weapons? Afraid not. They're unarmed. After all, the main idea behind a navigator is to assist in investigation's data management. But they do have a save function. Just choose the Use Metal Gear command and then save. You can record the exact status of your investigation that way. In the same way, you can use the Use Light command to help you when it's too dark to see. I told you they were nice to have around, didn't I? How about communications? Does he have some kind of radio? Yep, there's a video phone installed. Video phone? That's right, just select Use Metal Gear and then Use Video Phone to access it. In theory, you can use it anywhere, but you have to watch out for interference. Sometimes the signal just can't get through. Oh, this actually rules, dude. You're an engineer. Tell me how the Snatchers are built. Probably doesn't know. It's odd, but we've never been able to get a specimen. They're always stolen or have self-destructed. Aw, oh, damn. They have any weaknesses? They're built really well, so it's tough to destroy them outright. Try to immobilize them. They've got these slits on their head for some reason. A well-placed shot there will often destroy their control functions. That's why it's important to practice your marksmanship. Well, we've been there, done that. We're a perfect shot, baby. I have a video phone call from Jean-Jacques Gibson coming in. Connecting. Junker HQ, this is Gibson. I've cornered a probable male snatcher. I'm in the abandoned factory in the M District. Request immediate backup. Gillian, that means you. You better head out right away. Jean needs your help. We must hurry. We'll use a turbo cycle to travel to the scene. Be careful, Gillian. Oh, damn. All right, the adventure starts. This is a turbo cycle, specially designed for junker use. In addition to three-wheeled ground travel, it is capable of hovering and high-speed flight. The vehicle is also VTOL capable, so takeoffs and landings in narrow areas present no difficulty. A flying tricycle, huh? I just came in on one of these things. We have been assigned this vehicle for use in our investigations. 
Ooh, let's look it over. It's brand new, it's just tuned up. It's a 47 Interceptor. It's built by the same company that builds the shuttle. Investigate, yeah. It's built with the latest cer ceramoplastics and carbon polymers. It doesn't even have a scratch on it. There's no problem, the tires have the inspector's stamp on them. Area, there's nobody in the parking lot besides us. This is the Junker Headquarters parking lot. Several triple cycles are parked in the area. On the ground, it runs on three wheels, but they're retracted during flight. Oh, it all has three wheels? For real? I guess it has one in the back, then. Uh, use Metal Gear. Let's go ahead and save, dude. Alright, I'll save everything that has happened up until now. Which file number would you like to save it in? Why save one, please? Save completed. Alright, so it begins. Would you like to continue play? Why, yes I would. Alright, let's enter this bad boy and go to the scene of the crime. Woo! We're in the turbo cycle. Operation is computer controlled. Where would you like to go? Uh, <laughs> I should go home. Go home. <laughs> no, let's go to the factory ruins. Now departing for the abandoned factory. Yeah, baby. Uh, slaps. First day on the job, and now this. Ace Junker Gibson is cornered a suspected snatcher. I wonder if this guy really is a snatcher. Guess I'll find out now if all that training really paid off. Oh, you'll be okay, Gillian. I have faith in him. We will arrived at the abandoned factory. What would you like to do? Go home! <laughs> I don't want to go in there! Gibson's on his own, man. Uh, what would happen if I did choose that? Would I get accosted? Here, let's find out. I'm, I'm kind of curious. Gillian! Ah, oh, Gillian, we should hurry to the scene. Yeah, I kind of figured that would happen. All right, what's inside? Oh, oh, oh. We've arrived at the abandoned factory. This is where Jean called from. Oh, baby. Oh, let's look around. It's a battered old factory. Judging from its design, I'd say it dates from the period when man production techniques were still used. It appears abandoned. Look at the sky. It's getting quite dark. It looks like a storm may be coming in. Hot damn, this place is quite run down. It looks deserted, too. Oh, I know. The building is heavily damaged probably been abandoned since the last century. There's no sign that anybody's around. Here, let's use the motion detector. Metal, are you reading anything? I can't tell from here. We'll have to move inside. Alright. Alright, there's nothing we can use here. Investigate building. Nothing unusual here. Can we... It has an eerie atmosphere about it. Oh, oh no! What was that? A male scream. Perhaps something has happened to Jean-Jacques. Gillian, please use extreme caution. I read multiple moving objects within the factory. This could indicate the presence of snatchers or insectors. Insectors? What, what in the, the hell? world's that? A spider-like robot used by Snatchers as security devices. Though oh. compact in size, they are armed with needle guns. Use extreme caution. Oh. Oh. He 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 he. Enter. Okay. Let's go inside, baby. Here, I'm going to use Metal Gear and save before we get in here. Oh, dude. Save one. File contains data. Yes. 
Save. Oh, we're gonna continue. You bet your ass we're gonna continue, buddy boy. We're going in. Keep your blaster ready. Push the A button to draw your blaster. Oh, man. We're in the shit now, dude. Go in, Gillian. Let's find some stuff. Okay. We've entered the factory. This is the spot where he placed that video phone call. Ooh. There's debris everywhere. Please watch your step. Whoa, there's pipes running everywhere. The ceiling looks quite weak. The building is severely damaged. It should be demolished. Why isn't it demolished? It's been weakened by rust in several places. Seriously, this place is a shithole. It's dilapidated, bro. Can't pick up anything special. Oh, that's perfect. Looks like the concrete here is quite corroded. It looks this place looks like it could collapse at any moment. We must be careful. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. There's nothing special here. Where is Gene Jack anyway? Oh, he's around somewhere, I imagine. Yow! That's really hot. I'm gonna have a blister there. <laughs> Be careful, the surface is hot due to steam within. Yeah, be careful there. Metal, are you picking anything up? Nothing's moving. That's odd, what happened to Gene? It's uncomfortably quiet here. Okay, let's move. Alright, let's move ahead. Maybe we'll find something. Oh. What the? It's Little John. Little John? Oh. Yes, Jean Jacques Gibson's personal navigator. Oh, dude. Little John's been demolished. There's no way to repair damage this bad. Oh, dude. There's wreckage everywhere. Little John's parts are spread everywhere. Yeah, Little John's busted up. Little John has been split in two. That poor robot. What did he do to deserve this? Ceiling's been damaged, some of the wiring is sticking out. Alright, can we investigate Little John? This charring indicates he was hit by fire from a laser cannon. Nearly all his circuits are burned completely through. His functions have been completely terminated. Nevertheless, his memory may be all or partially intact. Where is Gibson? The navigator never leaves his runner's side unless there's a very serious reason. We have to hurry. Gibson's in trouble. Oh, I don't know, dude. You're a memory chip. Can we get that? Well, what do you think? Can you get this memory chip out of there in one piece? I will attempt it. Now retrieving memory chip. Memory chip retrieved. Okay, good. Well, that worked out. Is metal picking anything up? Nothing. We're the only thing moving. God, that's... All, right, all we can find is Little John's memory chip, I guess. We don't see anything. Water's dripping. Okay, no, nothing, nothing's happening. No sounds except for water drops and Little John shorting out. Alright. Well, what if we... Wait, can we do something with the... 
this? No, we can't have look at the memory chip yet. I thought we might be able to do it. We'll probably have to do that back at headquarters or something. Let's move ahead. Oh. Things are scattered all over the floor. Nothing. Besides a large pillar across the floor, there is nothing unusual. Investigate. Anything on the sensors? Nothing. But the only thing moving. Absolutely nothing. It's just all quiet here. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move forward. Oh, wait, what's that? Wait, there's a figure on the floor. Uh oh. And... Oh, shit! Oh! Dear God! Gene! Yep, Gibson's dead, guys! Do I hear what on the stream, Will? That's trouble. Yeah, it is, Krom. I mean, he's got... He... <laughs> Will! <laughs> oh, holy shit, dude. <laughs> Thanks for the biddies, Will. <laughs> God. Well, my stream was getting messed up instead. Nah, I just farted. <laughs> holy shit, they ripped his head off, bro. So much for being the top runner. Gibson, it's Gibson. My God, his head's been twisted completely off. Holy shit! Corpse! Yes, I wish I didn't have to meet him like this. Ah, oh, you don't say. I can't believe they killed Gene. Oh, well, that's just the snatcher, man. He dropped his blaster here. Should we take it? Investigate. Yeah, let's investigate the corpse! He's still warm. Ah, oh, he's still warm! Oh, yeah. That scream we heard was no doubt his. What killed him? What do you think, dude? His head has been twisted off. He died instantly. It would take incredible strength to do this. Uh, yes, Will, this is our partner. Well, not really, well, I don't know if he's necessarily our partner, but he's the other runner that was at the Junker facility. So, yeah, there were two Junkers. Now there's only one. We are the only Junker. Or the only runner. And now we're investigating the corpse here, and oh wow. Boy, this is this is intense for 1994, bro. Holy shit. Metal Gear, there's a key in one of his pockets. Oh, hello. Anything else on him? E. What's this key for? I don't know of anywhere where old keys like this are still used. Confused? You thought I played as this dude, the dude with his head got ripped off? <laughs> well, no, we're playing as the guy who's... <laughs> we're playing as the guy whose head shows up every so often during dialogue options. As the guy who uh, was on the conveyor belt over at the Junker headquarters. This was the guy who made the video call to us. That he was in trouble and shit. Anything on your sensors? No, not getting any reading. Oh my god, for real? Not picking up any sounds. How is there just nothing? They look the same. Do they really, though? I, I guess they look kind of similar. That's fair enough. Ooh, let's take his blaster. It's been crushed! Oh yeah, that's just a snatcher that killed him, bro. This would take incredible strength. Come on. Yeah, it's a snatcher that got his ass. 
item is quite... That, that's an antique? Keys are antiques? Metal, hang on to this gear's evidence, okay? All right, I'll store it. Oh, 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 we're gonna save, dude. Report analysis results. Oh, he cannot... He can't analyze another navigator's memory? Oh, we have to go back to headquarters. Okay. Well, I mean, we're gonna get something out of it. Yes, let's save. Holy shit. Can we make a video phone call to headquarters right now? Uh, yeah, we just found Gibson and it's not great. Oh, he can't get a clear, clear frequency. Okay, so never mind. Probably due to the presence of Snow 9. Oh, that sounds like bullshit. What is Snow 9 even? Snow 9. It's a bioengineered form of pollen which interferes with radio transmissions. They just will, don't want me making video calls. Alright, I, I think we've probably seen enough at this point. There's evidence of a struggle on the ground here, but I can't interpret it. Alright, there's nothing else. Let's, let's move. Now moving ahead. It's a dead end. Blocked by a cave-in. Investigate. Dirt and sand. No way we could possibly move up out of the way. Investigate. Front. Investigate, damn it. We're the only thing moving. Listen. Ugh. Listen. No sounds. Okay. Gene's blaster has been bent like a twig. He's not picking up any sounds. Are we just gonna get out of here without any any problems? Okay. Just gonna keep retreating. Keep checking the area. Wait, we have to check the area some more? For real? What else do we have to look for? Probably something near Gibson, I imagine. Several tons of earth. Nothing here. Jeez. Okay, let's go through all our options here. Yeah, I know you're not picking up any sounds anymore, that's for damn sure. Thing moving. He probably fired several shots. Yeah, I imagine he did. There's a scrap of paper inside one of his pockets. Search the house. Okay, so we did have to search him a little bit more. Scrap of paper, what is this? Written on an ordinary paper. He's holding something in his right hand. What is it? It's hair. He's holding several strands of hair. In addition, there's skin tissue under his nails, probably from him scratching his attacker. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Skin sample. Now analyzing recovered tissue sample. Analysis complete. Results on the display. One, enzyme antibody analysis indicates subject is blood type O, Rh factor negative. Two, chromosomal analysis of cells in the sample reveal 46XX, subject is female. Three, cell component distribution indicates presence of artificial protein compounds. 
four. Number of melanocytes in sample indicates that subject is Caucasian. The results of the analysis strongly suggest that the tissue sample, a cluster of skin cells, was scraped from the subject during a struggle with Jean. These skin cells almost certainly came from a female European blood type O negative snatcher. All right, we're looking for a lady snatcher, soulmates. Hot damn. Now analyzing recovered hair sample. Analysis complete. Results on the display. One, chromosomal analysis of cells from the papilla and root reveal 46XY. Subject is male. Two, hair color, brown. Hair structure reading of 65 indicates European subject, wavy hair. Three, attachment of root structure and thickness of the base of the strand suggest hair was pulled out of follicle. Four, enzyme antibody analysis indicates subject is blood type A, RH factor negative. Five, cell component distribution indicates presence of artificial protein compounds. The results of the analysis strongly suggest that the strand of hair was pulled from the scalp of Jean's attacker during their struggle. This strand of hair almost certainly came from a male European blood type A negative snatcher. So there's two of them. Maybe there's more than one snatcher involved. Gibson said, I've cornered a probable male snatcher. Really? Sorry, right, he's analyzed both of those. Plot twist is the hot lady from the start. You know, I would agree with you, Will, except that her blood type was A positive. So she can't be one of these people. It would be fun, though. She's a snatcher all along. She's been working for them the entire time. <laughs> and she infiltrated Junker headquarters. It would be a good long con, that's for damn sure. I wonder if we're gonna encounter anyone here. Maybe one of the samples is from his daughter or something, you know? Because they said he had a daughter called, uh, 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 I don't remember her name. But it's possible. No more evidence. An analysis of Jean's stomach reveals a major lesion on the pyloric region of the gastric membrane. So, Jean had an ulcer, huh? Yes. In addition, I read a substantial quantity of partially digested organic compounds. Ooh, organic compounds. If you can determine the composition and the degree to which the food's been digested, we may be able to figure out where Jean's been. Oh. Let's find out what he had for lunch, bro. Let's hear about it. All right, we got the hair, we got the skin structure. We don't need any more of that. Uh, he uh, uh, had caviar. Now making incision in Jean's stomach to analyze organic compounds present. Holy shit. Analysis complete. Results on the display. This robot's doing an autopsy, bro. analysis indicate the organic compounds are primarily composed proteins that have been exposed to digestive acids for approximately three hours. Amino acid structure of the protein suggests the meat is that of a buffalo. Buffalo meat? Yes, buffalo meat. The results indicate that Jean ate buffalo meat somewhere about three hours before he was killed. Buffalo meat? Get caviar. <laughs> JK will in the future they have no Orcal's caviar. All the animals, practically all the animals are extinct in the future. Haven't you watched Blade Runner? Just owning a cat or a snake costs a small fortune, bro. All animals are now replicants or androids. All right, so I think we might have gotten everything we're gonna get out of him. Okay, we're not picking up anything up. 
for an ordinary paper. Search the house. I don't know what that means yet. Let's get out of here. I want a hamburger, man. I haven't had a hamburger in months. I'm so hungry. I'm hungry all the time, dude. Angus burgers? That sounds good. I've had Angus burgers. I like, I like them a lot better than like the typical stuff. Can we get the hell out of here? We don't have the evidence that we need yet, for real? I thought we got all the evidence, bro. Maybe we need to look at this guy. there's anything else here so there must be something else over by uh, Gibson or maybe something in one of these other rooms well are you having hamburgers later I want a hamburger man maybe I'll have a hamburger later I'll break my diet for one day and I'll have a hamburger I need some hamburger in my diet Did I miss again, Macropini? Don't worry, I'm gonna look, Will. You know I'm gonna look. There are no public facilities, but you still use keys like this. If that's true, then it must be to some personal item of genes. If we check his things, we may be able to discover something. Investigate. We've got to investigate, bro. There's probably a snatcher in here. Yeah, the snatcher is a killer robot, Will. It's essentially a Terminator. If you've ever seen Blade Runner or Terminator, pretty much the same thing. This is pretty much just Blade Runner except that the Terminator is taking the place of the Replicant or the Android. And right now I'm looking for clues and I'm also looking for the Snatcher in the area, if there is one. I don't know if there is or not. So will we see an Arnold Snatcher? Eh, probably not, but we'll see something that looks vaguely human. Maybe. Damn, where, where are we going? There's only so many places we can go, bro. Written on ordinary paper. No doubt it was a snatcher. Oh, I agree wholeheartedly. Uncomfortably quiet. Damn, nothing makes any noise around here, bro. Who knows? These could be Gene's last words. Metal, keep this as evidence, will you? Story paper scrap in your internal chamber. Thank you. Uh oh. I'm reading movement. Oh shit. Oh shit. Something just ran across that doorway. Snatchers? Unable to confirm. I suggest we investigate. Of course we should investigate. Let's go, dude. It's a dead end. Where where'd they go?
<laughs> oh. Are you okay? Oh. You stay quiet. Uh oh. You hear something. Picking up a sound off in the distance. You hear it? Seems like my ears are going out on me. Maybe it's due to a change in air pressure? What? Oh, that's sus. Oh, I don't know if I like the sound of this, man. They definitely headed in this direction, didn't they? Yeah, they sure did. <laughs> Bless you. Maybe you're getting a cold. I don't think you are, dude. Walked by a cave-in. I hear something which sounds like a timer. Oh. Oh. Wait, I can hear something. There, can you hear it? Wait. You hear something which sounds like a timer. What do we... Where, where are you looking? Or what are you hearing, dude? He hears a timer. Where's the timer? Yeah, I can vaguely hear it. What if we move this way? Turn up the volume on your TV. Can you hear that? It sounds like a clock. Picking something up from the direction of Little John. I thought Little John's functions were totally dead. Oh, wait. What if we look at Little John? Oh. Whoa! A time bomb! Uh oh, shit. Evacuate immediately! There is little time! Just to be on the safe side, you should save frequently from here on. <laughs> Yeah, we should probably go. We should we should go. We should go. The sectors, use your blaster. Use your Oh, I, I yeah, okay. Yeah, it's time, baby. That's right. Oh yeah. By the time we see some action. Oh. Ah! Blow them away! Kill all robots! Take the robot scum out there, Gilliam. My god, there's a lot of robot scum coming at me. God, why are there so many robots? Why are there so many? Why do they love some robot spiders? This is horrible. <laughs> no, it's not that bad. Oh, yeah, okay, we got it. We got it. We're good. The motion reading has vanished. Yeah, we should we should leave, right? Yes, we should go. We're getting out of here. Sorry, I cannot go with you. What's wrong with you? Hurry it up! I am incapable of locomotion. What on earth are you blabbering about? Let's go! It's gonna blow! Please save yourself! I am paralyzed with fear! Oh, I can't believe this stupid robot! Come on! Take the robot up! <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> uh, uh. my ears are really ringing. That's because you left the volume turned up. Damn snatchers. There is no need for concern. I have stored all the information about the evidence and the area in my memory. We should return to Junker headquarters. That was pretty cool. We've returned to Junker headquarters. Ooh, that was some first day. Now entering the building.
Whew. We've entered the lobby. Gillian, I heard about Jean. I'm sorry. I wish I could have done more. You performed your duties quite satisfactorily. That's right. It's not your fault, Gillian. Don't worry about it. By the way, the Chief is waiting for you. This is the Chief's office. Well, Seed, that was a pretty rough first assignment to draw. You made a great effort, though. I've studied the data transmitted back by Metal Gear, so I know all about what happened out there. It's too bad about Gibson. He was a great junker. Seed, I need you to take over for him. You're the only one I've got left who can battle this Snatcher menace. So, no help coming, huh? Don't want to hire anyone else? Just us. Ah, oh, no pressure, Chief. Thanks, bud. Something hanging from your nose. No, nothing's hanging from your nose, Chief. Here, we're gonna save. Alright, let's ask him about some of the stuff that we got. Well, we probably... We probably should go to the other room and use the computer, shouldn't we? For reason was certain that at least one male and one female Snatcher were involved in killing him. We got to learn what he was up to. What was he after? What was he investigating when he was killed? To find that out, you should start by checking out his, the detective's home. Okay, we should look at his locker somewhere here, somewhere here in the building, his desk even, and then also go to his house. Katrina's the real victim in this. I let her know what happened, but it had to be a great shock to her. Katrina mean that girl who's doing the modeling job. <laughs> that's, that's where his mind goes? Jesus, Gillian. He must have learned something important about them, but he didn't tell me a thing. He never said anything about it, unless he was absolutely sure of himself. Curious. There's the Snatcher. What? Chief? We already investigated him. Here, look at this. Investigate Chief. Oh, wait. We can't investigate the Chief anymore. Damn. Will, I wanted to investigate the Chief, and now it's not going to let me. <laughs> ah, fine. Oh, the lady? Oh, yeah, her. Oh, yeah, the deep cover snatcher. Oh, we're gonna find out what's up with her. Here, can we go to the front? Yes, let's go to the front. Would you mind leaving me alone? Oh, of course she wants to be left alone. How convenient. Mika. We should give her some time to herself, Gillian. Investigate. Yes, investigate Mika. Just what do you think you're doing investigating her? I think she's a snatcher. Shut up, Metal. It was just a joke. No, it's not a joke. She was in place as impossible. Well, open it up. I'm really sorry about Gibson, you know. Billion, please just let me be for now, okay? Okay. He's not going to do anything. I still don't know what's going on. I just... Alright. Can't do anything, man. 